The worst thing to ever happen on RuneScape just happened to me. Oh no. Every pure's worst nightmare is getting two defense and I just accidentally got it. So now I have to decide between living with the shame of having two defense forever or create a new exciting account build I've never had before. And the choice was easy. I got my defense to level 42. I got myself full void. I completed all quests and requirements necessary to complete the quest Lunar Diplomacy for Taste Vengeance spell. But I realized that my combat stats were were still pretty crap so I got myself 88 strength by pumping in the blast furnace to avoid getting any HP levels then I realized I had too low HP levels so I had to get my range up with HP so I got myself 9 range levels which put my HP level at 76 and the final thing we needed to start peaking on this account was 94 magic for vengeance. There are many things I plan to do on this account one of them is anti peaking in the rev caves <laughs> I pretended to be smited and he's dead. Ooh, I haven't turned on loot keys. Loot from that kill, 970k. Normally I don't like Grand Exchange peaking, but doing it on an account build I've never had before is pretty fun. A low level venger. Oh my god, he is dead. See you later. The only problem is that the loot in this combat bracket isn't too good. He could have died. That. Oh my god. Big kill. Yeah, can't he. He called me a cunt! I almost killed him with my spec! Oh my god, he had a tormented. He was mad, I think he was a rusher. So now that this account is completed, I will be using this account together with all my other accounts and do everything and everything all around the runescape. Hope you guys enjoy. I actually got a kill. <laughs> it worked! The bait worked! 5 mil PK, very nice. I was watching this fight and I noticed how one of the PKers wanted to get a log out. So I started attacking that person. Oh my god. <laughs> he was trying to trade that kill to another guy and we pk 16 mil. If this man had some spare food, I believe he would have survived. And you know what? I have the perfect solution for him. Today's sponsor. Hello Fresh. Are you looking for an easy way to eat well and save money this year? Cut back on expensive takeout and delivery and get started with Hello Fresh. You will love how fast, easy and affordable it is to whip out a restaurant quality meal right in your own kitchen. Eating well is top of mind this month and it's comforting to know that you always get top quality with HelloFresh. Ingredients travel from the farm to you in less than 7 days so you know they are fresh. And we all want to save money this time of the year, but did you know that HelloFresh helps you save money all year round? In fact, HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. Pick a plan by using my link or go to HelloFresh.com and use code POGENGEFEB65 for 65% of your first meal plus free shipping. Once you click, my description will live update to count up the purchases. Every month I test out new things for potential video ideas and today I wanted to test out if people would follow me through the Grand Exchange shortcut. If it is done correctly, you will be able to stack two class specs on your opponent and most likely kill him. You won't kill me. You will waste your time. I'm unkillable. I've never died in this game. Is he gonna follow me? I got two spits in. He's dead! It worked! <laughs> I'm so happy I got the key. Let's get out of here. Probably got nothing. Maybe Debo? Hey, I got the Debo! Is he gonna follow? Nope, he's not gonna follow. This guy followed though. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my goodness. I was fighting this guy and I got the other kill.
That, oh my, I got on. 465k. Who's this guy? Off. We gotta go. It's, he's following. <laughs> oh my, who was that guy? He came out of nowhere. I, I haven't killed anyone in like five hours. This thing is so stupid. It works, but it takes so long. If you want to see me try out more weird ideas like this, feel free to subscribe. I recently traveled to the Philippines and the day I landed in the Philippines, Jagex decided to release the first wilderness content in many years. And I missed out on all the action. So two weeks later, I decided to go there and this happened. I accidentally skull trick myself and within seconds a team shows up and I need to get out Oh my um, I accidentally scold and then I died But it's fine that I died because I went back to Venenatis and I got Oh wait I got something thanks of Venenatis Oh 15 mil a few moments later, my friend got a Void Waker gem, which means I get a 31 mil split. So I guess I made my money back from getting accidentally skull tricked. I believe this guy should be very easy to kill. Oh! <laughs> oh, he tried to get the bind, and he couldn't, and I killed him. Oh, that's at least a 10 mil PK. I, he had a staff and an AGS. 19 millers! And the PK going right with the Void Waker. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> 4.6 mil. He died to my recoil. What the? How did I kill him like that? <laughs> what? People are gonna say this is fake. Oh man, he, like he did everything wrong and he brought a cash tag. Everyone is gonna say it's fake. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. I made 23 mil and I'm happy with that. So this Matt Jr. Muzza fought me earlier in the Rev Caves and he started flaming me in the bank. Stop peeking, you useless, poor guy. So I told him I would beat him in a tribrid fight, so I geared up and fought him. Okay. <laughs> Call me a vict- oh man, I'm logging out, I'm logging out, that's so embarrassing. I thought I could beat him as well, oh man, oh shit. After dying, my confidence was rock bottom, I was down 20 mil and I needed to make my money back and make myself feel better. So I joined a skills pick stream and he offered 25 mil to whoever kills him in last man standing. Right there, 25 mil, three bonds. Wait, I'm, I'm trying to get the clip from Skills Big Stream, and this channel has disabled the ability to create clips from their content. See, engineer, you do not have permission from me, okay, buddy? I am explicitly saying you do not have permission from me, bro. If you want to see Skills Big's featured more in my videos, leave a like. Three months ago, I was hunting some PvP hardcore item, and, and I found some random loot everywhere in pvp worlds which i haven't uploaded yet so here they are <laughs> wait what like he brought bench he died <laughs> 1.7 mil no. thank you oh my god i killed him I killed him. What? What was he doing here? 10 millers? 10 mil PK? Not too bad, not too bad. Thank you very much. He must have forgotten he was in a PvP world. Good fight. That, good fight. 2 mil.
Did you just AHK? Oh my god, I lost so much there. <sighs> It's time for me to upgrade my office. Few months ago I installed a cord holder and placed my computer under the desk to open up space for a second monitor. Many of you told me to get some plants so I cleaned up my room and bought myself a fake bamboo plant. I liked it. But it doesn't match the current display and isolation panel so I'll have to change that. And after that I got a lot of suggestions about monitor arms. So I got two monitor arms for my monitors. I'm actually amazed about how much free space I got, so it's something I do recommend for everyone. However, one of my monitor arms didn't fit my current monitor, so there is a slight chance my monitor collapses one day. I was gonna end here, but I really didn't like the way the isolation panels and the displays were on the wall, so I removed them. I bought a shelf and I got some help from my dad. The lighting in my office was so bad so I installed some spotlights. And I guess we are completed with the office for now, there's still changes to be done but this is before and this is after. If anything, I do highly recommend monitor arms for everyone watching right now. Not sponsored, that's just my opinion. Goodbye!